we've learned a thing or two on our several sailings with Princess Cruises. So we put together this video to help fellow cruisers make the most of their upcoming sailing. So whether you're sailing with Princess Cruises in the past or you're brand new to a cruise line, this video is for you as we share our top Princess Cruises tips and tricks you need to know up next. Welcome aboard cruisers. I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise and a special welcome back to our Eat Sleep Cruise subscribers. If you're sailing on Princess Cruises this year, there are several things you need to know to make the most of your vacation. So we share our insider tips and tricks to help you stay one step ahead of everyone else. And this actually starts with the brand new fare structure that Princess Cruises rolled out recently. Understanding what's included in each new option is crucial to ensure you pick the right fare for your cruise. When looking online, the first fare shown and the lowest price for the cruise is the cruise only rate. This rate includes all of the standard Princess Cruises inclusions like most dining, onboard activities, and entertainment. However, cruises are not all inclusive. So there are several additional experiences and upgrades that are not part of the standard price. This is where the new Princess Plus and Princess Premier packages come into the equation. For an upgrade of $60 per person per day, cruises who select the Princess Plus fare will receive the Plus beverage package, Wi-Fi for one device, the standard daily gratuity, and other new additions like premium desserts and fitness classes. Starting in August of 2023, Princess Plus also includes several new offerings. Chief among these selections is access to upgraded casual dining. Cruisers with this fare structure will be able to dine twice at upcharge casual restaurants, including Vines, the Salty Dog Pub, O'Malley's, Ocean Terrace, Planks, Steamers, Alfredo's, and Gigi's. These venues will now have a cover charge of $14.99 for those not on a package. Further, Princess Plus and Princess Premier guests will now have access to Ocean Now delivery service at no charge. Guests who opt for the standard fares will need to pay a one-time activation fee of $14.99 to use this service. Guests with the upgraded packages will also not be charged the $5 room service fee. Guests with Princess Plus and Princess Premier will now be able to take advantage of the Green Lane Express boarding free of charge. And if you're not familiar with this, don't worry, we talk about how to get ocean ready later in this video. For guests who don't have Princess Premier or Princess Plus, there will be a $10 shipping charge to take advantage of this feature. For even further savings, cruisers can opt for the Princess Premier Fair. This package includes the most inclusive beverage package, the Premier Beverage Package, two specialty dining meals, and unlimited Wi-Fi for up to four devices each. These guests also receive the free Green Lane access, Ocean Now ordering and complimentary room service, and unlimited dining at the upcharge casual restaurants starting in August of 2023. There are other perks too, like a photo package, reserved theater seating, and the chance to win princess prizes. This package is an additional $80 per person per day. And according to the cruise line, is a savings of over 65%. Depending on your preferences, these packages might make sense to upgrade at the time of booking. For our last trip, we had the Princess Plus, and this option was perfect. So if you're like us and plan to purchase a couple of those perks for your cruise, or even just a drink package, honestly, then these fares will certainly save you money. So make sure to take a look at all these inclusions and select the right fare. And for many, we believe these new packages are a great way to save money. But another easy way to save even more when booking is working with a trusted travel advisor. Travel advisors can help you through the process of selecting the right ship, cabin, and itinerary for your cruise. Plus, help you decide which fare structure is right for your trip. But there are also other perks. There is the possibility that travel advisors have access to group rates that are lower than the cruise line fares. Even if the fare they quote you is the same as a cruise line, travel advisors can often offer perks like onboard credit, specialty dining credits, free shore excursions, or other freebies like Wi-Fi or gratuities. For us, perhaps the best part is if you time things right with a cruise line promotion, travel advisor discounts are often combinable with cruise line sales and deals. So you can get double the savings by taking advantage of multiple promotions occurring at the same time. 
Even though we've been on over 70 cruises, we usually book with a travel advisor. Not only do we recognize savings, but there is also someone in your corner if you have any issues or need assistance before or during the trip. Since the restart, Princess Cruises has introduced its medallion class experience fleet wide. This technological advancement is designed to make your vacation personalized and effortless. All this is made possible with two simple elements, the medallion and the medallion class app, which actually integrate with other connected technologies on board the ship. Now we're not big techies, but we do believe the medallion class is a game changer for cruising. So as soon as you book your cruise vacation, you should download the medallion class app to your smartphone. It will help you customize and maximize your trip. Don't worry, you can still use the app and its functionality even if you don't purchase an internet package once on board the ship. Simply put your phone in airplane mode and connect to the ship's medallion net Wi-Fi. While we do recommend downloading the app, those who are not tech savvy or prefer not to carry their phone can still enjoy the medallion class experience by utilizing portals around the ship or their stateroom television. Once you have the app, you can review your schedule and deck plans for the ship, as well as other features that we'll actually touch on a bit later. One unique feature is the ability to customize your medallion. Now the medallion is that lightweight wearable device that doubles as your onboard keycard. By default, Princess Cruises will send you a medallion highlighting your current level in the Cruise Line's loyalty program as part of your cruise fare, which means it's free. However, cruisers can spend $5 to customize the medallion face further. Each Princess Cruises ship has its own insignia that you can select to customize your medallion, and that's what I always choose. Cruisers can also select their birthstone, favorite destinations, astrological sign, or some other symbols right in the app. Further, while your medallion will come with a lanyard to wear around the ship, there are other accessories one can purchase too. Honestly, we suggest upgrading to a more discreet accessory. The cruise line offers small clips that seamlessly attach to a shirt or jacket. Heidi and I prefer some wristbands varying from plastic sports bands to silver and gold jewelry inspired options. I don't have to tell you what Heidi opts for when sailing with Princess. When booking a cruise, another one of our helpful Princess Cruises tips and tricks is knowing that not all staterooms are created equal. Princess Cruises offers a variety of cabin categories from interior rooms to balcony cabins and luxurious suites, you should carefully review which option suits your travel party best. Be warned, if you have sailed with other cruise lines, you should be aware that the standard balcony cabins on Princess Cruises do not have the seating area that comes standard in most balcony cabins on other lines. You will get a generously sized closet instead, but there will be no love seat or coffee table in the cabin you want the seating area, you must upgrade to at least a deluxe balcony or a mini suite. Don't worry if your original cabin selection is not your preferred choice. You might still have the option to get a better cabin at a discounted rate. Depending on cabin availability and your cruise ship's capacity, Princess Cruises might give you the option to upgrade. Princess Upgrade Program gives the guests the ability to bid on better accommodations. Now this does come with a catch. If your bid is accepted, you'll be automatically put in a room in that category, but you might not know the cabin location until closer to the sailing. If there are certain cabin locations you want to avoid, like a particular deck or area of the ship, then this program may not be right for you. This is especially true if you're prone to motion sickness. Again, this program is not always available based on capacity. Of course, there's also no guarantee that your bid will be accepted. Personally, we've gotten lucky with these programs on several cruise lines, so we gave it a shot in our last Majestic Princess cruise. Luckily, we bid only $10 more per person than the minimum bid for a premium deluxe balcony cabin, and it was accepted. So not only did we get a larger room with a seating area and a massive balcony, we got it for a fraction of the cost. Once you've made your final payment on the trip, you can begin to get ocean ready. This is one of the biggest Princess Cruises tips and tricks, and it will help expedite boarding the ship on embarkation day. You'll need to load travel documents like your passport, a security photo, and order your wearable medallion. You can also add things like food allergies, accessibility needs, or other customizations to your ocean profile. During the check-in process, you'll need to choose an arrival time. Once you're ocean ready, you can proceed to the green lane at the terminal on embarkation day. 
this green lane will get you to the ship quicker and get your vacation started sooner. This green lane express boarding option is free for those who have Princess Plus and Princess Premier fares. There is a $10 shipping fee for cruisers that have the standard cruise fare to take advantage of this expedited boarding. Princess Cruises has also updated its dining program. With the Princess Cruises Dine My Way, guests have the ability to choose a more traditional approach to dining or a more freestyle approach. This is of course all done using the Medallion Class technology, so it's very important you have the app on your phone. You can make all your dining reservations pre-cruise if you prefer. In terms of the main dining rooms, you can choose to dine at the same time every night, similar to what cruisers might refer to as traditional dining, or make varying reservations based on your schedule. You can also select a private table or choose the option to dine with others. Additionally, the Dine My Way feature allows you to make reservations at your ship's specialty restaurants. On Princess Cruises, the specialty restaurants are very reasonably priced and offer a variety of options, so you should definitely check them out. If you know us, admittedly, you know we are over planners, so we always recommend making dining reservations as soon as possible, as popular dining times do book up quickly. Another new change for Princess Cruises is that they implemented a digital muster drill. This mandatory safety briefing can now be completed primarily on your phone or your state room television on embarkation day. Simply watch the required video, make a quick visit to your muster station, and listen to the ship-wide announcement. You no longer need to crowd with other guests near the lifeboats to conduct this mandatory safety drill. It also gives you more time to enjoy more of the ship on embarkation day. Regardless of your cabin selection, we have some tried and true cabin hacks to get your room ready for the rest of your trip. We always recommend packing magnetic hooks to hang items like bags, hats, and coats. Another packable item we always take is an over their door shoe organizer. Here, you can place accessories like suntan lotion, sunglasses, jewelry, cords, and other small electronics to help you save valuable storage space. Other things we always recommend, honestly, regardless of the cruise line, is that you unpack everything from your suitcases on the first day, including your clothes. Packing cubes will make this task easy and organized. Then, with your bags unpacked, make sure to place your suitcases under the bed. That way, you have as much space as possible in your stateroom. Another item we suggest is a cruise-approved power brick. That way, you have extra USBs and outlets for charging items, like phones, computers, cameras, watches, and other digital gadgets. It's a subtle Princess Cruises tip you need to know about the carpets. On Princess Cruises ships, the carpet color and pattern is different on the starboard and port side of the ship. This will easily help you pick the right direction when exiting an elevator to head back to your stateroom. Admittedly, the distinction is usually very subtle, especially on some of the lines newer and larger ships but some of the older ships do have bolder color distinctions. Either way, this is another useful strategy to help guide you home during your cruise. If you're like us, then you probably love planning your trip almost as much as you like going on your trip. So this probably means you've been reviewing those deck plans on the Princess Cruises website. Well, on day one, now it's time to check out the ship. We always allocate time on embarkation day for some ship exploration. With the Princess Cruise Line app and digital touchscreens, it makes exploring the ship even easier. Plus, honestly, it's nearly impossible to get lost. Heidi and I usually go all the way to the top of the ship and work our way down. Many popular spots that will be busy the rest of the week tend to be less congested on the first day of the cruise. This includes places like the fitness center or the spa. If you're traveling with little ones, make sure to check out the kids area and youth centers as well. With a few laps around the ship, you'll have your general sense of the ship layout and be one step ahead of everyone else. Further, if you're looking to take some photos or videos of the public spaces, early on embarkation day is a great time to do so before the crowds arrive. Of course, I love to cruise and I love to eat. Our channel is Eat Sleep Cruise after all. And with Princess Cruises Ocean Now feature, you can order food and drinks from an on-demand menu and staff will deliver them to your exact location on the ship. For guests with Princess Plus and Princess Premier, this service is complimentary. For guests with Princess Cruises Standard Fare, this service has a $14.99 activation fee. There are several complimentary food items, and the drinks are included in the beverage package as well, 
or they will be charged to your shipboard account if you don't have one. Now, if you want a frozen cocktail while lounging by the pool, it only takes a few simple clicks. You'll even get real-time updates to let you know when your order is on the way. As you can tell, we're pretty big fans of this app as it has some great features. Perhaps one of the most important ones for me is all the information about dining found on the app. Along with reserving dining and finding out hours of operation, you can also check out the dining menus. This makes planning your meals on a Princess Cruise much easier. Do you want to dine in the main dining room or the buffet? Well, you can see what's on the MDR menu right in the app to help you make the decision. Not sure if you want to upgrade to specialty restaurants, the app has all of those menus as well. Further, all the menus for the entire week are in the app in advance of your sailing. So you can plan for the entire trip and have one less thing to worry about during your vacation. The main dining room on Princess Cruises serves up exquisite three course meals each night. Yet the specialty restaurants on Princess Cruises offer a further elevated experience. Most ships boast the signature steakhouse, the Crown Grill. This venue offers perfectly seared fillets, porterhouses, or my personal favorite, the beef chop. It is well worth the upgrade. Depending on your ship, there might be a Sabatini's as well, the line's specialty Italian restaurant. But new for 2023 is the Catch by Rudy. The seafood-centric venue offers delicious options from renowned chef Rudy Sodoman. With classics like spaghetti and clams, as well as surf and turf, it is perfect for a fancy night out or to celebrate a special occasion. The best part about specialty restaurants on Princess Cruises is that they are a fraction of the cost of many contemporary cruise lines. Not to mention, if you opt for the Princess Premier Package, you receive two free specialty restaurant credits that can be used at any of the restaurants. On every Princess Cruises ship, guests can enjoy three meals a day included in the standard cruise fare. Some of these options include the International Cafe, Grill Favorites by the Pool, and the World Fresh Marketplace. Although our personal favorites for casual dining on Princess Cruises are Alfredo's and Gigi's Pizzerias. And starting in August of 2023, there will be a cover charge to dine at these pizzerias. Yes, you heard that right. The best pizza at sea is now no longer free. Guests on the Princess Plus package can dine at one of these pizzerias or the other casual restaurants that are an upcharge twice during a cruise for no charge. Cruisers with Princess Premier can eat here as often as they want with no cover charge. And guests who opt for the standard Princess Cruises fare must pay a $14.99 cover charge to eat at these pizzerias. Although it is an upcharge, we still think you should sample some of these handmade pies on your next Princess Cruise. Princess Cruises provides a point-to-point -point wayfinding system and digital deck plans both in the Medallion Class app and on portals located around the ship. So you can easily locate venues and even get step-by-step -step directions to help guide you to your destination. Further, you can track your shipmate's location to easily meet up with them on the ship. That's right, you can see if your kids are really at the kids club. Or you can check in on your husband to make sure he's not back at the casino. Or that your wife isn't at the princess shops again. Don't worry, if this does sound a bit creepy or too big brother for you, this feature can be easily turned off if you don't want to be found. The Princess Patter is the daily activity planner delivered to your stateroom each evening. This schedule will detail all the events and entertainment options occurring the following day. It will also provide other helpful information. What time the restaurants are open, the all aboard time at your ports of call, and more. Be sure to read the Princess Patter and even highlight the events that interest you so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Of course, if you prefer to go paperless, the Journey View section of the Princess Cruises app or the ship's portals allow you to view the daily activities and to bookmark your favorites as well. Depending on the region of your cruise, you'll want to check the daily schedule for enrichment sessions. For instance, Princess Cruises is consistently rated as one of the best cruise lines in Alaska. During these sailings, Princess offers many Alaska-themed activities as part of its award-winning North to Alaska program. With enrichment opportunities on Alaskan culture, food, history, landscape, and wildlife, we highly suggest you attend these presentations. Led by local naturalists and other experts, these talks are informative and engaging, 
providing guests with greater insight into the Alaskan frontier and the ship's ports of call. Believe us, they're not just shore excursion talks like some other cruise lines. Additionally, when also sailing in Alaska during the day of scenic cruising through Glacier Bay National Park, rangers board the ship to provide narration, making the experience even more memorable. With the medallion pay feature, guests not only have access to contactless payment on the ship, but also while ashore, allowing for secure transactions in ports of call. Now, none of us need another credit card, I get it. But in select destinations, you can use your princess medallion to make purchases at participating shops, restaurants, and bars while earning rewards. Using this feature, you get 7% back on shoreside purchases as onboard credit. Medallion pay currently is available in destinations including St. Thomas, Cabo San Lucas, Cozumel, Puerto Vallarta, and select Alaska ports, with more destinations and merchants planned for the future. If you have the vacation time, Princess Cruises offers a variety of longer itineraries in various locations across the globe. To help you save a little room in your suitcase, Princess Cruises has self-service laundry rooms on most decks. You can purchase detergent, as well as utilize the washers and dryers at your convenience. The best part is that there are even irons and ironing boards in the laundry rooms. That way, you can stay pressed and look your best each evening. Princess Cruises is known for its movies under the stars. What could be better than cuddling up with your loved ones to enjoy a movie on the big screen? With comfy lounge chairs and provided blankets, this is a perfect low-key evening activity. There's no fee to attend these movies under the stars, and there's even complimentary popcorn, as well as milk and cookies. Akin to more luxury cruise lines, Princess Cruises offers afternoon tea served by white-gloved waiters. This experience occurs in the main dining room and is complimentary for all guests. You can enjoy a selection of teas or coffee, along with some small sandwiches, scones, and other desserts, as if you need more food. This is a perfect afternoon activity, especially during Alaska sailings, when the weather outside doesn't lend itself to lounging poolside. You'll want to check that princess patter or the app once on board for when this event will occur on your particular sailing. Princess Cruises offers a few exclusive areas on its ships that provide an upscale experience during your cruise vacation. First, there's the Sanctuary. This top deck, private area, is exclusive for adults and has a dedicated service team to meet all your needs. You can purchase full day or half day passes for either loungers or a cabana. During your time in the sanctuary, you'll be treated to food and drinks from an elevated menu. There's also a private hot tub to take in the views from all the way forward on the ship. Then there's also the Lotus Spa's thermal suite, the Enclave, which is found on newer ships in the Princess fleet. This exclusive area features a therapy pool, heated loungers, a steam room, sauna, and more. The guests can purchase either a week-long pass or day passes Depending on availability, if you're looking for a complimentary escape from the crowds, head to the retreat pool and bar on select ships. Located nearby the sanctuary, this area is still adults only, but comes at no additional cost. If you're considering one of these upgrades, remember onboard credit can be used to purchase spa treatments in the thermal suite as well as reserving the sanctuary. Like most cruise lines, Princess Cruises has a loyalty program called the Captain Circle. You'll automatically become a member after completing your first Princess Cruise. The more you sail with Princess, the more points you earn to work your way up the ranks. Each loyalty tier has exclusive perks like discounts on Wi-Fi, spa treatments, and photos, as well as early access to dining reservations, priority boarding, and more. It certainly pays to be loyal to one cruise line. Now, if you still have more questions about what it's like sailing with Princess Cruises, don't worry, we have you covered. Right here on YouTube, we have one of our most popular videos, our exclusive look at everything included in a Princess Cruises fair, plus what will cost you extra. So that video details everything from the onboard activities, dining, entertainment, and more that's covered, plus all those add-ons the cruise line doesn't tell you about. That way you can budget successfully and don't return home with sticker shock.